Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and I'm super excited for today's video because I was tagged to do the Makeup Queens Challenge. Um, I know that my wonderful friend and sister Erica um, has participated in these. I'm sorry, my words aren't coming out right today, so... Uh... <laughs> Um, so the Makeup Queens Challenge is where someone puts up a photo for inspiration and you create a look based on that photo. Um, so the creator of this challenge is a lady named Lorraine Johnson Coleman. Um, I've heard Erica talk about this and when I was tagged, I was actually tagged by... Um, I believe her name's Coco Renee. Um, apologies if I've pronounced that wrong or if I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me um, nicely. Um, but yes, so I was tagged. I'm super excited. I will pop the picture up here. So this is the photo for inspiration. Um, it was actually chosen by um, Coco Renee. I want to say um, and it's inspired by a trip she had to Tahiti so uh, beautiful I love the color story in this uh, in this photo so I'm super super excited to be participating in this challenge right now my intro has gone on for way long enough so the palette that I thought fitted that theme the best is the Age of Opulence palette, the new-ish, is it new? It's the holiday release for Beauty Bay. Um, this colour story is amazing. I believe um, this palette's in the Black Friday sale for £10.50. Oh my god, it's so worth it. It was worth the full price. Um, but yeah, so that is the palette I'm going to be using. As you've probably noticed I did my brows blue to match the theme so I used curfew for the main part and then on the inner part just to uh, tone it down a little bit I went in with lavish. Um, these just perform so beautifully however it is you are using them right so i need to make a decision on what it is i want to do okay so i'm first going to go in with curfew and i'm oh crikey going to take that on a what are you a jess up 223 petite eye blender and i'm going to be placing that right in the outer portion of my eye I think I've managed to get a bit of wax in there because um, I used the wax from the um, Elf Bite Size palette, the Bite Size Brow. Um, I just used the clear wax um, as a base for the shadow to stick to for my brows. Went into way too much detail there. Um, I did prime my eyes with the P. Louise Base Pro in the shade Rumour 02. Do you know what? I actually want to do a halo eye. So I'm going to also take that on the inner part and just bring that up. I haven't done a halo eye or spotlight eye, whatever you want to call it, in a while. And yeah, I'm quite fancying it. So this picture, which again I will pop up just in case you missed it at the beginning, um, this picture for inspiration, it just, it is inspiring. It really is inspiring. Um, thinking about trips, I think my, uh, the best trips I've been on, where I would say you could gather so much inspiration from, um, the first one was uh, when I was 17. Um, I've not actually been abroad since I was 17. I've not left the UK. Yeah, not left the UK since I was uh, 17. But anyways, that was to Orlando, Florida. 
um, you probably guessed already it was for Disney and that was amazing and I think there's so much stuff at Disney that you know so many places that would have like really inspiring images is that the word um but yeah that i think would definitely inspire some real colorful looks but then i also it was only oh crikey how many years ago would it have been 10 maybe um we went to the lake district um which is in the uk and it is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. It is just mountains and lakes. And oh, waking up to the sight of mountains, just, it was amazing. And you have all the, the colors of around the lakes. And oh, I think it is such, a beautiful place okay so we can mess about with that a little bit more if we need to um so what do i want to do i want to find the right brush for it all right so i am now going to head into rich it's a beautiful kind of sea foamy green See, I'm still trying to describe colours. I'm not very good at it. And this one is literally just going to kind of blend the edges of the blue. If I do want to deepen that up, I do have the black in here. But we'll see. I might not need to. But yeah, if I were to choose... A picture for inspiration it would more than likely be um one from the lake district because i was just in awe of how beautiful it was the whole time i was there this palette is amazing everything just blends so beautifully now i Sincerely want to thank, um, well, Coco Renee for tagging me in this and you know, allowing me to be a part of this amazing, amazing group of people. Um, because I had a read through a lot and obviously I've heard Erica talk a lot about this group and it just feels like just a really kind of accepting and comfortable, comfortable is probably the wrong word, um, just a really kind of inviting, caring atmosphere and I am all for that. Seriously guys, if you are kind of, if you've been on the fence or thinking about getting this palette, I would jump on it during black friday because it is more than worth 10 pound 50. so yeah this challenge i keep getting completely off topic i'm so bad at sticking to a topic so apologies <laughs> but if you're not new you'll already know this so I am going to ever so gently connect this shade. I'm loving this. I'm having to keep looking at the picture to, just to check that the colours I'm choosing kind of match up with the colours in the picture. So I can see some kind of pinky purpley shades in the pearls. So I am going to bring in Flapper. And just because I fancy being a bit different. And I'm going to use that to go around the edge. 
and just add kind of a purpley halo to it. This may be a mistake, but I'm going to dip into lavish to go along with that. This is looking completely crazy right now, but I believe it is going to just come together beautifully. Oh, I didn't say either of the last two. So, so I've used the Spectrum A12 then the peaches and cream pc 22 and now i'm using um, a brush from the altitude cosmetics brush set it's amazing um and i'm going to go into hope which is kind of in a way going to cancel that out a little bit i just want that kind of pinky purple tinge just because it's there in the, the photo and it just means that I can kind of do more. Oh, okay, right. So going back in with Curfew, the deepest of the blues, I'm going to really go in and pack this on now. And then back in with Rich. Okay, so I did go in with RSVP um, just to soften all of the edges. And I'm now dipping back into Hope. Um, which I have already just gone around the edges a little bit. I just want to do it a little bit more because it's such a bright and beautiful shade. Plus, I want to be able to drag this out a bit. So I'm just taking a Zoeva 231 Lux Petite Crease and I'm going in to... I'm going into Rich. I wanted a slightly fluffier brush just to uh, make the blend that little bit softer. Am I going in with Rich? Yeah, that is the one I'm going in with. And just taking that kind of in between. It's not really ending up like a halo eye, is it? But this, this is what I feel like doing. No, I'm just taking inspiration from the photo and rolling with it. These shades are just absolutely stunning. I was invited along at exactly the right time. Um, and then where have I put that now? Ah, And then back in with Hope. Just a little bit. So I'm thinking I am first going to go into Revival and I'm going to take that on this flat brush from Artitude Cosmetics. And these shades are just beautiful. So I'm just going to take that on the edges of the joint not right in the center i just adore this palette 
my collection of Beauty Bay palettes is just, I love it. So just doing the same on the inner part, just tapping it on. This is one of those palettes that if I had kind of the energy and better health, I would be doing kind of 10 looks, one palette, etc. It's so beautiful. So I will tag um, both Lorraine and Coco Renee's Instagram accounts in the description box below because they are just wonderful people so yeah again thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this challenge i do love a challenge right and for the center oh i'm torn at the moment between the between crush which is a more rosy gold and champagne which is more gold gold i think actually i'm going to go in with crush i'm going to go with that one because that one is calling my name that bit more so i haven't put any glitter primer on i haven't sprayed my brush this is just these shadows working their magic stunning I really hope that this isn't a limited edition palette um, so I think this is uh, this is one that everybody everybody if you love blues purples you know, this color story it's just so worth it I'm just tapping it at the moment and then just blending it ever so slightly into the outer the blue shade the formula in these is just beautiful you can use them with obviously spraying the brush and glitter primer but you really don't need to. I'm trying to capture the pearls at the moment. <laughs> I hope I'm doing this, uh, this picture justice. I doubt it, but one can hope. And then just back in with Revival, the blue. Just to make sure that's not been lost. And then I'm going to go back in with Curfew. And I'm just going to kind of stamp that and then wiggle it into the edge of the blue there. And then also kind of drag it outwards slightly and I'm just going to should I use you? no I'm just going to dip into rich just with this so either two three one lux petite crease and then I'm just going to go over the very edge of the shimmers there. I think I actually want to take those shades a bit higher, the uh, shimmers. So I'm just going to bring that up here a bit more. And then back in with Crush. Yeah, I think that's looking really nice. I do, however, want to add some more 
sparkle. I have this glitter here from uh, Yvette Beauty. Um, I did receive this in PR. I love it. It's called Candy. So I am going to just take a little bit on my finger. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. I believe there are little hearts in there as well. I haven't got my glasses on to be able to see. Okay, so now I'm pretty happy with, am I, am I though? No. So before, is it going to work? Yeah. So before I go off and finish my face, I am going to take champagne on a Morphe M149. And I'm going to take that right up under the brow here just to brighten that up. Just want to brighten that area up a bit more. You don't want it to kind of be so dark. Just with the big fluffy brush, I'm just going to kind of go in between just to make sure that it is blended in. Oh, okay, so I'm now going to nip off, finish my face. I will come back to show you the finished look and just wrap things up so if you would like to see the finished look then don't go anywhere okay guys so I am back with the finished look let me know what you think in the comment section below um, I will pop up the picture the inspiration photo um, up here so that you can uh, let me know if you think I did it justice I do really hope so, fingers crossed. I also want to say a massive, massive thank you to Coco Renee. Again, I'm so sorry if that's not how you pronounce your name. Thank you so, so much for tagging me and allowing me to be a part of this. Um, I have had so much fun. I love creating looks um finding inspiration from other things i just i tend to forget about it but this brought it right right up to the forefront of my mind is that what you would say um but also a massive thank you to lorraine that's lorraine johnson coleman um for like creating this challenge i think it is wonderful and so many people um, are joining in with this from what I can see um, including the wonderful Erica um, I will link um, Lorraine and Coco Renee's Instagrams in the description box below and I will also link Erica's channel um, because she has done is it one or two there's definitely at least one video one challenge that she has um, joined in with I I just think it's such a wonderful idea and it's brought a lot of people together and I'm super excited to be a part of it. Everything that I have on my face will be listed in the description box below for if you want to check that out. I will say um, the liner is one of the water activated liners from Artitude Cosmetics, it's one of the duochromes and this one is Reflection so reflection these liners are amazing they are so so good and the shift actually shows up once on not just in the tub if that makes sense 
yeah I think it was the perfect coloured liner to go with this look so yeah if you've liked this video please do give it a like thumbs up that really helps me out if you are new to my channel if maybe you found me through this challenge um thank you so so much i hope you've enjoyed it um if you have if you'd like to see more colorful looks then hit the subscribe button and join the family so yes thank you so much for joining me today i hope you're having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon Goodbye.